Okay, quickly, let's go over the pantry and how I restock the pantry. Some might say pretzels you probably shouldn't do. I chose to keep them. They're really kind of a, uh, you know. And the reason I chose to keep them really is they have things like riboflavin and folate and thymine and niacin. So those are minerals that I don't know that we always get. And I thought, well, it could be a, a go-to snack. We don't have much in the house. Maybe pretzels and my stone ground mustard for myself. Maybe pretzels and, and the peanut butter for the girls. So I did hang on to those. So I kept, I hung on to my oats. But I actually also bought some still cut oats. And I'm very excited to use these. They do take longer to cook. And the reason they do is because they're less processed. So they actually have more fiber. More of the oat grain was left alone there when they did the still cut. Of course I hung on to the brown rice pasta. Held on to the white rices, mostly because my daughters love white rice. They love the jasmine, they love the white basmati. I, I think you should always have brown rice in your cupboards, and what I would suggest you do is mix. If you want to mix the brown rice with the white rice, I've done that for my daughters as well. I prefer brown basmati or just long grain brown rice. It's, the le again, the least processed and the better for the best for you. And the cereals that we did keep... The best cereals were the Cashy Goline, of course, the regular no sugar added shredded wheat, the multi-grain Cheerios, wheat checks, and the oatmeal squares had a little bit more sugar, but they were decent and they had a, lar a pretty good amount of fiber. And of course, I kept the low sodium canned beans. So if you're going to go canned with your beans, just get the low sodium. There's no reason to get the regular beans with the regular amount of sodium. That's it, gang. Thanks.